Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome into For The Low. My name is Spencer. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace the belts on your Pioneer dual cassette deck. The one that I'm working with is model number CT-W402R, but this video should apply to many different Pioneer decks. And the way that you know that you need to replace the belts is maybe it's not playing or it's not fast forwarding or rewinding. But the best way to make sure is just by taking the top off and looking at the belts themselves. It's usually pretty obvious. And in order to replace the belts, you'll need a screwdriver kit similar to this one and then your belt kits. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is there will be a few screws on the rear panel that you'll remove. I already took mine out, so we'll go ahead and remove the top. You just slide it back. And then once you have the top off, you can go ahead and disconnect all the wiring because we're gonna remove the front panel from the rest of the device. And some of these wires might be a little funky, but like this one right here, you have to push down on that and then pull the wire out. So it'll come out like that. Then we got that one out too. And then we'll need to cut that zip tie so that we can pull the front panel off. And then now we just gotta get this last one. And then now we can get ready to pull the panel off. So we're gonna start by getting all the screws off of the bottom area that we need to. It looks like there's just one that we need to get. Two from each side as well. So we'll get those off. And then now we've got just the front panel to work with. So now we need to get to the belts. And the way that we do that is first we remove four screws it looks like. The, this one, this one, this one, and that one. So we'll get those off real quick. Now we can see the belts. This belt got wrapped around this wheel. One of the belts will go on the inside and that will be the smaller belt. And then this other belt, you'll put around the upper portion. And then you'll hook it onto these catches. And you put it on those catches so that when you put the motor over it, you can just get it off the catches and then it'll fall onto the motor. And you're also gonna need to clean this, it looks like. It's got some goo or it's got the old belt on it anyways. And you'll probably want to get a flat head to get that. And then you'll probably want to get some Q-tips and finish cleaning it up. Q-tips and alcohol. So you'll get the Q-tip wet with alcohol and then you'll just get in there and get all the belt residue off.
You want to clean it as much as you can and once you get it at least this good you can go ahead and put this back on and you want to make sure that you put this piece back on here correctly you can refer to the other deck to make sure that you do that so it goes And then once you have that on, you can put the screws back in. And then once you have all of your screws back in, you can go ahead and move the motor or move the belt onto the motor. Just be real careful so that you don't have to take it apart again and you might be able to just drop it in there but it might be also be a good idea to take a paper clip and maneuver it so I'll just take this paper clip Drop it onto the motor. And then now it's on there. And then you can spin the wheel to see if everything is on there correctly. Fell off of the motor right here. We'll see if we can get it back on there without taking it apart. So everything looks good now, and we are all done with that deck, so we can go over to the other deck. And we'll just be doing the exact same thing that we did with that one. And it actually looks like there is one additional part that you'll want to unscrew so that we can get this off. All right, and then now we've got it all together, all the belts are in place, and all we have to do is attach it to the board again. So we'll go ahead and slide it back onto it. And then before we start screwing everything back together, we'll go ahead and just get these wires in and we'll test it out and see how it's going just to make
All right, so it looks like everything is together correctly. We'll just put the top on and then power it up. So we'll see if it's working right now. All right, so it looks like we missed something. All right, so I was able to get in there and fix what I needed to. A little spring popped off while I was trying to replace the belt. Try not to let that, that happen to yourself because it was not fun taking this apart again and figuring out what the issue was. But as you can see, it's playing fine. And then the fast forward and rewind is working fine. And you can also see that the counter belt is working too. All right, so as far as the belts are concerned, this thing is working perfectly. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the belt repair. All right, besides putting the screws back in, that's pretty much all there is for the repair on this Pioneer dual cassette deck, the belt kits specifically. Hopefully it got it working for you. If not, you can send yours in for repair and we can take care of it for you. And if you wanna order one of these, you can get one on our online store or something similar to it. Thanks for watching.